Good morning! Today, so far on June the 17th, on this Saturday, my steps are at 8,400. So, hope you enjoy the chat. I'll be talking about how do I heal from the matrix, the paradigm, the dynamic of pick and choose. <laughs> We'll see how this conversation goes. Hope you enjoy the day. Hope you enjoy the moment. Profitez. Have a bonne journée. Je continue à parler en anglais. Bonjour. So, yes. The matrix. Huh? The paradigms. The dynamic. The false parcel, persona. Oh, I really listened to this really great video. It was just so awesome. This lady knows how to express. She knows. She's so full of insight. I just had to uh, say that I will post her uh, video into the <laughs> into the description link today. Just she, I just was so like yes, that's so true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so true. I could so resonate with that. Anyways, here we go. I'm doing my steps. I got about, I'm at 84 ish, so. Huh. That means I got about 1600 steps to do. I will not read from the TV because that slows down my steps. I'm just going to keep walking and maintain a healthy pace. I just did a load of laundry. Oh, I felt good. I felt good, good, good. Good for the soul. I like to keep my environment clean, organized. And when it's not, it's all about the false persona. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I said, no, oh, you're just lying anyways. We know. We know that part of ourselves that truly needs healing from that fear, from that codependency, from that shame, from the uh, the, dam the dynamic of all these things, right? It's all about false persona. <laughs> Somebody told me I was a dum dum. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, I don't know why, but you're feeling weird in your weird sensation in your physiology and your thoughts and and like a water off a duck's back. You take on that false persona. Well, at least I'm good in this subject. And at least I'm good in that subject. <laughs> Not really acknowledging that I was suffering. And false persona that was false persona there dum dum me dum dum that's from yesterday's video right okay I'm a dum dum and I hung on to those words just a group one child probably in a group of six or to ten in the schoolyard calling me out as dum dum when I said wow oh, I'm repeating the same grade I wonder why. Right, looking at a report card. Oh, you're just a dumb dumb. <laughs> I'm thinking, how long has this dumb dumb story have been going on about me before I was the age of 13, 14, 15? <laughs> so acknowledging it was just, that was the true person, the true who I truly am. Making a choice to acknowledge it. Yes, I've been called out as a dum dum. In whose reality? It wasn't mine, but I took it as a, my own reality. And that's what's called false empowerment, false persona, false empowerment, false. Right? <sighs> the dynamic of lying to myself. Fear, 
False and fear. See how they match? <laughs> and those are two sets of F. False and, <laughs> and fear. They match. Ew. <laughs> yeah. I had to knock some sense into myself. Oh. Other people would have tried to, it wouldn't have worked. Because all I've resonated with with the false persona. What's false persona about? Fear. Lies. And all the kit and caboodle that comes with codependency and lack of self-awareness, lack of knowledge, lack of truth. No need for me to grow up and mature, right? Whew. No need to make proper decisions because people will do them for me. <laughs> I don't need to order lunch. Sitting at a restaurant, no. You pick for me. <laughs> so, that devalue stage started a long time ago. <laughs> In childhood, as a matter of fact. <sighs> Resident evil taking place in my spirit, my soul, my body. And not acknowledging it. <sighs> That's false persona. That's a dynamic paradigm. Whatever you want to call it. Matrix, that's all about false persona. Deformation of character, a form of self assassination, a form of shame, self degrading, self hatred, whatever goes with that, right? At my own expense. <sighs> Oh. Wow. I certainly like to wake up in the morning and really wake up with, truly with my eyes open. Whether it be my spiritual eyes, my spiritual ears, my true self. Wake up to who I truly am. Not what the world says I am. Right? That's about false personas dynamics, paradigms. Huh? Somebody gives you a diagnose. One thing, if somebody reads to you about a diagnose and it resonates with you, you can work in that. You can do a self-assessment and work through it. There's another thing of saying, somebody says, you have this diagnosis. Huh? That's about false personas. Oof. Discovering your own ability to think for yourself and believe for yourself. You know, how do I heal? You know? But before you know it, you're like, wow, my steps are so much better now than they were even a month ago. The pain in my body is releasing me. It's like, whoop. The pain, the pain that was in this body is letting me go. Because where there is light, there is no darkness. <laughs> where there is truth, it cannot be lies. Oof. You know, there are different dimensions in life. There's a spiritual dimension. There's a soul dimension. There's a physical dimension. Oh, wow.
I'm just working on my steps today and doing some self-esteem work again. I love to watch some of these videos that I connect to. It's like, yes, yes, I totally get it. I resonate with that. And then I can work it for myself. I listen. Listening is a very important part of understanding. Accessing that knowledge. Say so, yes. Evil is evil. Fear is evil. Now there's a the kind of you stress that is good, that is healthy. That's the kind when you're walking around or taking a walk with a child or something like that, and somebody from a, a very bad energy comes around you, you take, keep your children closer, right? That's called a, a natural instinct. That's called that intuition. It's called listening to your own gut. How do I heal? Some may ask. Get informed. Get trauma informed. Connect with people who are trauma informed. They will teach you so much about who you are. And then you're like, oh. I don't have to listen to others tell me who I am. I am who I am. I don't have to sit on a pew all day long for people to tell me who I am. Oh, cool. Right? Just saying. Spiritual breakthroughs. With a spiritual breakthrough, comes sometimes a spiritual breakdown. Let's break this down. Let's think things through. Let me do my homework on that. I don't may not have the answer, but I'll look it up. I'll do some researches. I don't, I'm not all knowing. But I'm also no dumb dumb. <laughs> yeah, there's that middle, what do you call that? Middle ground. Where you can start building a stronger foundation. If you have no knowledge, if you have access to no knowledge, of different cultures, of different beliefs. <laughs> and you believe your way is the only way. Wow. That's like being an island to yourself. Allow yourself to grow mature. Allow to get to know yourself. Nobody bothered getting to know you. Take time to get to know yourself. I am. Take a nice deep breath. And then grab some some uh, watered down juice here so a lot of water more water than juice because some of those joice, juices are very strong Woo. yeah i love those creative juices when people just make a decision a commitment to heal First, the question is, how do I heal? <laughs> Instead of looking to others, oh, well, they look healed. She looks healed. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'll look to them for, for emotional support, for validation, for emotional validation, for emotional love. And then you're like, oh. As we mature, we're like, oh, I can do that for myself. I can validate myself. That no, yes, I thought I was a dumb dumb, but I'm not. It's actually, I validate that I'm not a dumb dumb. <laughs> wow.
<laughs> Acknowledging that I thought I was a dom dom the other day, one of my videos was me coming out of my false persona. Saying what other people tell me to say and do it, what other people tell me to do, and not even following my own heart, not even listening to the, my own heartbeat. Yeah. Codependency, right? The dynamics of codependency, the dynamics of PTSD, the dynamics of mental health. Mental sickness, mental illness, the dynamic of spiritual bypassing, right? The dynamics of fear. Huh? How do we process that? Right? How I process that is towards my, towards my healing. That's what's happening. It's going towards my healing. Huh. It's time to start healing. <sighs> healing begins healing. Whew. Wow. Huh. Yeah, it start it time to start cleaning. Cleaning begins heat cleaning. to get some order into my thoughts and my feelings my movements my words wow self-respect wow so i had to reach back at a time or a moment where i devalued myself as i was doing my feelings wheel work I'm still doing that <laughs> reaching to why i'm feeling the way i'm feeling Where's that fear coming from? What's that impending doom feeling coming from? Oh, that was something from way, way back when. I needed to acknowledge that to myself. That was a, a true breakthrough. My ego was hurt. That's what that was. Oh, I can't let that go now. That ego was hurt. Whether it was mine or somebody else's, that ego was hurt. Wow. I can let that go. <laughs> when that ego is hurt, there's a lot of shame, a lot of blame, a lot of impending uh, doom feelings, right? Oh. <laughs> and the more I heal, the more I realize I don't have to heal others. I can influence, but I can't make someone make a choice to heal and grow and mature. Right? Oh. What a freedom. Letting go of that control. What's fear about? The dynamic of control. Controlling others. <laughs> That's fear. Oh, I can let go of that. That's the dynamic of... You be the leader, I be the follower. <laughs> oh wow when we start growing when we start maturing and when we start making our own decisions and choices oh yeah so when I went back to school after the experience of being when I went back to school In my 20s, my mid-20s, man, somebody gave so a good seat in my life. I didn't think I could. 
I can't even connect the dots when it comes to letters. However, when I was 15, I went to school and I learned how to typewrite without the letters on the keys. And I remember thinking, oh, that's like for the school for the blinds and <laughs> Laura Ingalls or okay. Ingalls family, whatever it was, that show. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm not blind, but I can certainly love to learn how to type. You know, and it started with the A, S, S, D, D, F, and then on the right side. It was gradual. It was an electronic typewriter. But man, I felt like, ah, I feel this sense of belonging. Belongest, the little house on the prairie. <laughs> I felt like I belonged. If I, I just like got into this, whatever it's called, feeling good about myself starting to know how to oh I keep working through really hard and I started learning about self-respect not that I didn't have self-respect remember when you're in false persona person's experiencing false persona trauma bond right shame not a good feeling those things happen for a purpose they happen so we can find our true purpose. We find find out what our true purpose is in life. Ooh. Not about having a higher purpose than somebody else, somebody from history. It's actually finding out our own purpose. It's not about being better than or what went up on. <laughs> it's truly about finding a true purpose. And when we find that purpose, we connect to what is real. And we let go of that false persona. We see ourselves as we truly are. Yeah? I am good. I'm healthy. Okay? I'm understanding, I'm forgiving, I'm hopeful. I am patient. When I learned I was patient, I learned how to write. I went back to school for three years. <laughs> Whatever I didn't finish in grade 10, I finished. I went back to school for two years and finished my general education diploma. Ah, I didn't realize I I thought it was just right down in a piece of paper and I was done. They know your IQ, but no, it took work. It takes work. And it gives, it takes time. And it takes letting go of that false persona. A little bit here, a little bit there. And then, oh, I can't do this. Hmm. Even though I was very shy and I barely spoke. Oh, I can do that. You know, everything is life is about a learning opportunity. And if we don't learn, then we'll meet somebody else that we can learn with. We'll be around other people that we can learn from. And if we don't learn again, <laughs> that message, algorithm, whatever you want to call it, it's like whatever you talk about comes bigger and stronger through what you're watching on TV, through who you're connecting to on YouTube, and it becomes stronger and stronger, and it resonates. <laughs> right? Ooh. I'll also include that video when the person was talking about algorithm. Ooh. I just want you guys to know that life is good. Don't waste it on fear and shame. Don't waste it on trying to fix others. Be yourself. Be yourself. Get to know who you truly are and the beauty within. Whether you're a man or a woman. Yeah. Oh. I hope 
somebody's receiving that word today because I am, wow, my self-esteem work. My self-esteem work is getting better and better. Let me see what my steps are at. So that was from, how do I heal from the matrix dynamics paradigms? How do I heal from that? <laughs> Let me check my steps. Well, I've reached my steps. So really, how do I heal is a matter of personal choice. A matter of personal choice. How do you heal? That's up to you. For me, how I heal is getting connecting to my connect is getting connecting connected back to my self esteem. That what was spoken over me that were lies were lies. And what I know within my own spirit soul, that's my truth. That egg, <laughs> if I'm feeling a negative energy, that's somebody trying to do something to destroy me in one form or another. I just pray for them. I just pray for them. I don't tell God what, how to provide his, their healing for them. <laughs> I'm not God. Right? Just pray for them. A very quiet and gentle prayer. That God will show them how they are loved. That God will show them their worth and the value. Because I know every time I've experienced a, a poor, bad, perceived, real or unreal, dynamic Whew. that had to lot to do with the way I conceived myself the way I thought about myself and still respect others still maintain respect for others as I gain respect for myself I show respect to others <laughs> even if it means a simple thank you because when I say thank you it comes from the deepest place in my heart and my soul so yeah the whole point was how do I heal from those wound attachments right how do I heal from the matrix di dynamic paradigm of wound attachment and that comes through allowing myself time to heal it's okay for me to bring up that wound and, and then wound attachment whatever it may be that's affected me in my life at one point or another as I work on that feelings will. Huh? Most of one attachments has to do with fear. Huh? Of what somebody else might think about me. <laughs> you have value. You have worth. It's okay to validate yourself. It's okay. Enjoy the moment. Profitez-en.